Hello and welcome back to Slimming It with me, Shelby. Sorry if you hear a little background noise, the dogs are in here and they're playing. Um, so for this video, it is just a glute workout video. This workout was so good. I'm actually doing it again today and I'm actually looking forward to the workout because I liked it so much. Um, I got a really great pump in my legs and my glutes and I was feeling it the next day, which is exactly what I want. I feel like when I have like that soreness the next day, I know that my muscles are building and growing, especially the glutes. That's what I'm working on the most right now. Um, so I did a voiceover throughout the entire video to give you guys some training cues, make sure that you have proper form and you're doing the exercises correctly. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy the video and use the workout for yourselves. Also make sure to check me out on Instagram. I will leave the link below in the description box. My name on Instagram is Shelby Slim underscore B and I post lots of things on there as far as healthy vegan lifestyle stuff, some workout stuff, and I always have updates on when I am filming or going to post a new video. So don't forget to check that out, click the link. Sorry, these dogs are totally throwing me off. Anyway, I'll just wrap this up and let you guys watch the video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. So I have typed out everything at the bottom of the screen for you guys to follow along, but I will be talking you through the workout as well. Um, before I started this dynamic stretching, I walked into the gym and went onto the treadmill. Every time before I work out and start lifting weights, I hit the treadmill, the elliptical, or the Stairmaster anywhere between 5, 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes for me to feel that my body's warming up. My heart rate is elevated and I'm ready to stretch and then lift weights. The next thing I do before every single leg day is 50 walking lunges followed by 50 body weight squats. If you guys cannot do the full 50, that is fine. It's something that you can work your way up to. I had to do that as well. I started with sets of 10 and then 20 and then 30 and so on and so forth until I got up to 50. And slowly but surely, I will start doing closer to 100 before every single leg day. By doing this, you assure that the blood is flowing in your legs, you got a nice pump, and you are ready to lift. So for this leg workout, I decided to do all my squats at the Smith machine, but you could also do this at the squat rack or find an open space at the gym and just use a straight bar, whatever works best for you. I also did all of my squats in a sumo stance position to make sure I'm activating my glutes. Um, and for this warm up, I am holding the bottom of the squat, holding that position for about two seconds to allow a good stretch in my glutes and in my hamstrings. So I did this for three sets. 15 reps um, with no weight on the bar just for an additional warm-up I'm all about the warm-ups before adding any weight at all and then after this I go into my first set of weighted squats and I did pretty light weights for this entire workout I only put 10 pounds on either side of the bar and did three sets of 15 reps of that as well um, with your squats, you guys, make sure that you are driving through your heels. You continue to have a neutral spine all the way down and all the way up. Don't tuck your chin or look back. And if you find that your knees are kind of coming in when you're doing your squat, you either need to take some weight off or um, just do no weight at all and kind of build up your strength through body weight squats before um, going any heavier. 
Next, I did Smith Machine pulsing squats, three sets of 20. And I'm going down about halfway and then not coming all the way up. As you can see, my knees are still bent the entire time. This one was a burner. It hurt, but in the best way possible. Um, if you look at my glutes, you can see that there's that they're like looking pretty full and plump. And that's because this one was like really getting the blood flowing and the burn all around the glute area. Then after this, the next exercise I went into is called a goblet squat. You can do this with a dumbbell like I did here. I was only using 20 pounds, so again, going pretty light. I did three sets of 20 reps. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you can do it with the dumbbell or you can do it with the kettlebell um, or a straight bar, whatever you prefer. And um, I didn't do a full sumo stance with this one. I just had my toes a little past shoulder width and you wanna make sure that you are rounding your shoulders back in order to keep your back straight. You don't want the weight controlling you or like pulling you down or like making you like round your body forward because you will end up hurting yourself and that is not very comfortable. Um, the last lift I did was a deadlift. Again, you can modify this for wh whatever level you are with um, your fitness. You could do this with a straight bar, you could do this with dumbbells, you could do this on the Smith machine, or like I did here with a 45 pound bar, and then I just added 10 pound plates to each side. Again, just like with every other leg movement, your back needs to be straight. Make sure you're not tucking your chin or looking straight up. Um, I know it's hard, especially if you have a mirror in front of you, to not like look up at yourself to check and make sure you're doing it correctly, but it's very important to just look straight below you. As you can see, my back is like completely straight when I come down and that's exactly what you want. Um, and then I finished up the workout with banded hip thrust, three sets of 20 reps. I am driving through my heels and then when I get to the top of the movement, squeezing my glutes for like one to two seconds. You don't have to use a resistance band. I just did that to make it a little bit more difficult, um, but you could do it without one, like I said. Um, yeah, so that's how I finished up the workout again this one was really good you guys are definitely going to like it so please like and comment and let me know if you did try out this workout thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video